This is a deeply confusing concept that gravity does not actually pull you. And we say this all the time, right? Sometimes I even fall into the trap of saying it again, because you're taught your whole life growing up that gravity is pulling you toward the earth. And if you throw something up, gravity pulls it down. And we say this so much that it just becomes uh, common sense. And yet it's slightly inaccurate. To be more accurate, gravity is actually pushing you. And that seems so bizarre because you're like, well, what the heck? That makes no sense. What the heck is pushing me if gravity is a pushing force? Well, this is what Einstein taught us, and this is why it's so confusing, and this is why we don't teach it in the high schools, and quite frankly, even often at the college levels, is that gravity is the fabric of space itself pushing on you. So what we call space-time. So the fabric of space and time is pushing in on you and holding you to the surface of the Earth. And the reason you can understand why we don't teach this to high school students is because it is, you know, elementary kids, is it is very confusing. It's like, wait a minute, gravity is pushing me? The fabric of the universe is holding me to the earth? Yes, that's much more hard to fathom and grasp than just say, ah, earth is pulling you down. Even though that's not really what's happening. And you can see in this little video here how the fabric and the curvature of space changes as the earth changes its motion and its orbit. And of course, it gets pretty complicated because as the earth moves, so does the moon. And as the moon goes around us, that changes the fabric and the curvature of the universe. And of course, we're going around the sun, and that changes the curvature. And of course, the sun is moving, which further changes the curvature. So these equations become very, very complicated uh, as you try to calculate the exact curvatures of space and time, of the fabric of the universe, as everything is moving. And my students get pretty clever with this. They're like, wait a minute. If the universe is pushing down on us, what's causing the tides? Because doesn't the moon go like over the Atlantic and then the Atlantic Ocean gets a little bit higher because of the uh, tidal forces? And that's absolutely true. And you say, well, see, Mr. Autumn, it's pulling up the Atlantic Ocean. No, it's not. What's really happening is more complicated. If the moon is over the Atlantic, the fabric of the universe is actually squeezing the Earth from the left and the right. And that squeezing is what rises up the Atlantic. So, again, you can see why we don't teach that to high school students because you're like, Oh, yes. As the moon goes over the Atlantic, the Earth gets squeezed. What's squeezing it? Oh, space-time. What's space-time? Oh, the fabric of the universe. See how deeply confusing this gets? Uh, but again, gravity is pushing you, and the tides are a result of Earth being squeezed by gravity, squeezed by the fabric of the universe. Okay? So again, I know it's a hard concept, but if your students or your kids are more scientifically inclined, this is kind of a fascinating thing to teach them because they will grasp onto this and they will understand it. All right. Thanks for watching. Say your prayers and don't touch your face.